In the previous video, we talked briefly about encapsulation. Now, just to remind you all, encapsulation is the technique of making the fields in a class private and um, providing access to the fields via public methods. So, for instance, if a field is declared private, it cannot be accessed by anyone outside the class, thereby hiding the fields within the class. So, for this reason, <coughs> Encapsulation is also referred to as, um, as data hiding. So, in other words, encapsulation can be described as a um, protective barrier that prevents the code and data being randomly accessed by other code defined outside the class. So, the main benefit of encapsulation is the ability to modify our implemented code without breaking the code of others who use our code. So that being said now, one of the ways uh, that we can enforce data encapsulation is through the use of something that is called um, accessors and uh, mutators. So the role of accessors and mutators are to return and set the values of an object state. So in this tutorial video, we're going to be seeing uh, first of all what an accessor is, and in the next video, we'll be seeing what a mutator is, and then we'll be combining the two, because they work uh, hand in hand. So, an accessor method is used to return the value of a private field. It follows a naming scheme, pre prefixing the word get to the start of the method name. So, in this example here, <coughs> excuse me, we have three accessor methods. So let's look at the first one. As you can see, um, all of the accessor methods are public. And uh, this one is a type string. And as you can see, the name is get. Get is always um, the prefix of the name, of the method, so get. And then it's been called name. And this accessor method is basically um, we want it to return the uh, variable name. So um, in the next step, uh, we'll apply this to um, our example that we've been using up until now, the example of the dog, the object dog. Um, so just for now, just understand that our accessor method is called get name, and we want it to return the variable name of our dog uh, class. And then it's the same principle for the two other methods. Uh, this is a type string uh, accessor method called get color. We want it to return the color variable of the dog or the class dog, and then the same for the age. So uh, in the next step, we're going to apply these to um, our example of our class dog. Um, so meet me in the next step. So as you can see, we're in our class dog here with the fields that are private, thus enforcing encapsulation. So if you remember back to the previous video, because these fields are uh, private, we don't have access to them in the main program or the main class. As you can see, the field name is not visible. So that's why we need to use accessors, also known, also known as uh, getters. So let's do that now. So just for some clarity, uh, I'm going to add a comment here. So, getters, chart accessors, it's the same thing. So, remember, accessor methods are always public. And then it's a string type. Then the name of uh, the method, so get, which is always as a prefix in the name uh, of the method. And then let's say name, let's call it name like so, and then we want to return the um, field name at the top here, like so. Okay, same principle <coughs> for um, the two other fields, so color, I believe it is, so get color is the name of our accessor method and we want to return the field uh, color, so color. And then finally, um, 
the age, which is a int type. So int get age and return the field age. Okay, like so. So that's our three accessor methods um, to test these out, to see if they work. Let's go to our main program now. Let's delete this, we don't need it. And then let's type um, the following sentence, system.out.println uh, dog1, <coughs> which is the name of the object that we're going to be created, that we just created before with this instruction. <coughs> that equals and then we want to add the um, the method variable uh, get name so dog one dot get name again is the name of uh, our method here of our accessor okay and then some add a space some clarity and then let's add the other method um, accessor method so dog one get color this time again another space clarity plus dog one and then finally the get age accessor method like so So let's test this out by clicking on run. And as you can see, uh, it displays the values of um, the accessor methods, which are just displaying the values of uh, our original fields here. So without the um, accessors, we wouldn't be able to display the values of these fields. So that's how you use um, accessors in Java. In the next video, we're going to be seeing how to use uh, its counterpart, if I can say that, um, which are mutators.